Hello, this is Professor Lego again, and behind me is a small soccer field, and a small soccer field is approximately one acre. Now, Bill Gates has bought 25,000 acres west of Phoenix. Let's talk about that. I've always been a fan of Bill Gates. I think he's one of my heroes. Uh, just a normal geek, normal nerd that kind of tripped into a multi-billion dollar industry of computers. He was in the right place at the right time, and he had the smarts to know that what he was building was going to be something very large. Another American hero of mine is Walt Disney. I've read a whole bunch of books about Walt Disney, and one of the little things that I like to investigate on is this. This is a 3D printed emblem of the World Showcase. What is the World Showcase? It's the back portion of EBCOT. Now why is this important? Why am I talking about EBCOT? Well EBCOT that everybody knows today is a theme park with fast track and a whole bunch of other things. But what it was originally planned by Walt Disney himself Disney World as a whole was going to be completely different. Disney, Walt Disney himself wanted to take Disney World to a whole nother level than what it even is now. And what it is now is amazing. Don't get me wrong, what, it, what was built after Walt Disney died is still quite amazing. And the Epcot that is still exists needs some revamping, but it's still fantastic to go to as well. That's the reason why I printed out this World Showcase. I love being at, at Epcot, <clears throat> but the more important reason I love Epcot is the original plan that Walt Disney himself was developing was this. And what I'll do is I'll show you a full picture of his original plan. His original plan was to create a city with all 30,000 acres that he bought in Florida. So he had this idea of building this experimental city. And that's what EBCOT stands for. EBCOT stands for the Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. EBCOT. That's where EBCOT gets its name. It was supposed to be a community a city, a giant 30,000 acre city. The original Epcot was supposed to be a 30,000 residential, industrial, commercial, industry growing city, a smart city, if you will, of yesterday, right? At the heart of Walt Disney's plan was a was the epicenter of this wagon wheel. And in the wagon wheel epicenter, they had a covered, community tower, if you will, so where it was multi-tiered, multi-leveled community center where they had malls and an international showcase. It was a covered building with glass ceilings, but inside that environment were all these different countries and country orientations where people would come in and be able to see Oh, this is what Germany has to offer. This is what Italy has to offer. From that vision, they made the Epcot that we know today. And the back portion of it is the World Showcase. In that World Showcase, they're doing the same thing. They give the environment that is those countries with people from those countries running those different sections of the back, back portion of Epcot. With that, you get that experience that you're in those countries. So you don't have to fly to China. You don't have to fly to France. And you can feel what that environment feels like while you're in Florida, right? So that was the original plan was to have all these countries under one roof 
and you can walk around and shop and eat and drink in all these different country environments. It expanded out to what it is today, but the original plan was it was all under one roof, one glass roof at the epicenter of the residential area. In the pinwheel design, each section was supposed to be upgraded maybe once a year or so, where they would go in and upgrade your appliances and bring in new technologies for you to experiment with. If you were living in this environment, you would be under constant upgrades of, that, of the residential area. So let's think about that. If you have a fiber optic to the node to your house, you'll have an amazing network. But let's say something else comes along and is even better. Well, then next time the wagon wheel comes around, they'll upgrade your house to whatever next technology there is for network ability. Or maybe they'll go fully wireless with that section of the pinwheel. And that was the idea is they would go around and upgrade all those houses within the residential area and experiment with how well those technologies work in a family and residential environment. So what Walt was talking about was something called an experimental prototype community of tomorrow. Relate that to today's world? What would you call that? You would call that a smart city. A smart city would be the term that you would use. All the houses in commercial and everything else would be built up with new technologies of today's world. And we would call that a smart city. So what is Bill Gates doing? Bill Gates has gone and bought 25,000 acres west of Phoenix. 25,000 in Phoenix, 30,000 in Florida. Sure sounds like a very similar amount of acreage. Is he gonna try to build the original Epcot? Or is he gonna go and build a new version of Epcot, a new experimental city of tomorrow? Let's talk about the things that you would put in a city of tomorrow. Now, Walt Disney was talking about, you know, dishwashers and refrigerators and new technologies along appliances. But think of all the appliances that we have today that are now, that, that were never thought of in Walt Disney's times. iPads, computers, self-driving cars, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what are the things you would put in your smart city? What would you tell Bill Gates to put in his smart city of tomorrow? Would it be nothing but driverless cars and driverless buses driving around the community? versus having everybody have their own individual car? Would you go make partnerships with Tesla so that all incoming trucks and cars are Tesla cars? Or would you go to Apple of the world, Microsoft of the world, and get the best laptops and the best iPads to be handed out to everybody in the community to experiment with? What would you do? What would you put into this experimental city? Add your thoughts below. I'd love to hear about them. I think the two things that I would put in that experimental city definitely would be self-driving cars and some tr mass transit. Oh, uh, uh. There's three things I would put in that experimental city. I would put 3D printers in every house or have some sort of centralized hub where the 3D printers were located that you can access and build anything you wanted. I would ha definitely have the self-driving cars and have Tesla just kind of experiment in the city itself and never put in a regular car into that city. The other thing I would do is some sort of VR disco like a karaoke bar but in this case, utilizing VR. And those are the items I would put into this experimental city. The logistics of it, I would probably not do a pinwheel design that, that Walt Disney had. I would probably go with a more traditional box design. He, he's in Phoenix, it's, la, it's flat land. You could definitely go with more of a grid design and allow those self-driving cars to get around the city a lot quicker and be able to construct a lot easier. Building in four corners is definitely a better thing. The other thing I would do as you were building up this smart city 
is I would build it with 3D printers. There's a new technology that I would incorporate into the building of the city, which is 3D printer type machines that pour out cement into floor plan designs. So you can build up all the houses and high rises with just utilizing 3D printers instead of bringing in traditional workers to build stick built wooden houses. I would milk it out of concrete, add the insulation factor, and you're in Phoenix. It's too hot in Phoenix. So you're gonna want a house with high insulation. I think that that would be the best way to build out the houses that are needed in the residential areas. I remember as a child, there was a company that was gonna build our giant place set for our city. And they went out to all the schools and they had little competitions and little submissions of all the little kids saying, this is what I wanna see in my uh, play set. And they incorporated some things like big slides and, and tire swings and etc. So I love seeing companies ask for what should be in the next thing. And so maybe, maybe, just maybe, Bill is smart enough to offer up a avenue for us to submit what should be in the newest smart city. I think it would be a lot of fun. I would definitely put in all my suggestions as well. And I hope you do as well. So I'm going to leave you with this. This is a make channel. I like to see your pictures of a futuristic city or maybe build something out of Legos and submit it to me, Professor Lego. Submit something that inspires you or has inspired you and you made something because of what you were inspired from. Send it in through links in the comments section down below. I'd love to see it. Love to see what everybody makes. Okay. So I know I've forgotten a whole bunch of things that you probably would want to see in that experimental city. So leave comments down below, please, as the things you would love to see in an experiment in an experimental city. And also please leave a thumbs up down below. Hopefully this gets a whole bunch of likes and maybe Bill Gates himself would be able to see it. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.